We opened up pretty much on, on January 1st, uh, a real dream come true for me. So we did the SAG Awards with the Golden Globes um, right here in our live room. We had three trumpets, a trombone, a sax, an ISO 2, we had drums. Another room we had guitar and we overlay on top of a uh, synthesized orchestra. It really swings by putting the guitar player and the drummer on top of a synthesized track really makes it come alive. Um, I've been working in the studios in Hollywood 31 years. I started at Evergreen Studios in, in Burbank. Uh, we were an independent studio when we basically opened up and did a lot of film, a lot of television, a lot of commercials, a lot of jingles, a lot of stuff. So we couldn't wait for the studio to empty on a Friday night. And we'd go into the studio and we'd be in the studio from Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday night, somewhere around 3 o'clock in the morning. We set up for the 9 o'clock session and it had better been perfect or else we would never have been able to get into the studio. So. We had bands in there. I, I played bass. Saw the seconds played drums, and I, you know, I, I was rolling tape while I was standing there. So I went to Universal, and I did I did ten tons of television and film work. Yeah, I got a call from doing uh, 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 a movie date uh, with uh, the girls from the Manhattan Transfer. I did something for Dick Tracy. It was a song they did, and then uh, a week after that, I got a call. Would you like to? record and mix the uh, Manhattan Transfer album, which was a, a terrific break. Around 99, uh, I was part of the team that started the company 5.1 Entertainment. Of course, I've mixed so much stuff in surround sound and uh, got to mix, because it was a new format, I got to mix some really blue chip projects. Well, I, you know, I think when you're a mixer, you certainly have a sense of what it's gonna sound like at the end, and that is your imprint. For every studio that I've gone to in 31 years, you bring what you have with you into that environment and you push the envelope as much as the technology allows you. Now, it's really groovy. I, I really, I, I think it's, it's never been better for me. It's so much fun. When I, when I first started, when I first opened the studio, um, it costs a lot of money to do this. And all things considered, you know, we have to be responsible for this business model that we put out so that we can realize some investment. And I've been privy to, you know, using microphones that are sensational um, from all the Neumann models and all the AKGs and buyers and all of those things. But when I went to put my studio together, um, I certainly had a need for many diverse microphones. And first of all, I, I look at the microphones, first of all, I put them up and I don't want them to hurt me. They need to be able to, you know, handle the sound pressure level that I that the you know, that the artists demand, um, and the and the mic pre's without blowing them up. In show music, the trumpets are generally the lead instrument, right. so they need to have a certain sparkling. These guys blow their brains out too, and it has to be able to handle the sound pressure level that really that that I can count on. Then when I'm pushing it, when I go for the melody that it's not crapping out. So I was really blown out when I used the CS5. You know, the microphone held up uh, fantastically. As a matter of fact, I chose to use the CS5 also on the sax. Even the clarity with the clarinet and, you know, I'm, you know in my style, I don't, I don't really like muddy. And so we're always looking to get out that kind of mid-range kind of honky thing. This microphone was really nice and open right from the beginning. I use a I use a CS5 on the guitar as well, 10 dB pad right up against the speaker, slam, and his leads were clear, crisp. Couldn't ask for anything better. I'm looking for a, again an openness, a brightness, and uh, um, and the C4 was uh, you know it was it was slamming. Used them on overheads. And I put them on the hi-hat as well, where I have to have it really crisp and clear to put a pad on it. It's really nice. The mics are very musical to me.